seventh graders, we are working on objective three of expressions, equations, and inequalities. And we have some of our first inequalities here. Solving an inequality is almost exactly the same as solving an equation, but for these first few, it will be exactly the same. So we need to get S by itself. We get rid of the term that does not have the letter or the variable first. So we get rid of that one. It's a positive one. We get rid of that one by subtracting one that goes away becomes zero what you do to one side you do to the other side subtract one so 2s is greater than six then we have to get rid of that two by doing the opposite this is multiplication so we have to divide what you do to one side do to the other side we get s is greater than three so we'll plug that in s is greater than 3. Good. Okay, another one here. <clears throat> we need to get j by itself. We need to get rid of that 1. We'll do the opposite of adding 1. We'll subtract 1. That goes away. What you do to one side, do to the other side. Now 3j is less than or equal to 9. Then we need to get rid of that 3 by doing the opposite, dividing. What you do to one side, do to the other side. J is less than or equal to 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So J J is less than or equal to 3. Okay, more inequalities over here. We need to get x by itself. So we are going to get rid of the term that doesn't have an x. So we'll get rid of the 8 first. I'm just going to rewrite this. We're going to get rid of the 8 by doing the opposite. The opposite of adding is subtracting. We're going to subtract 8. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. So that gives us 7. So negative 3x is less than 7. Okay, now we have to get x by itself. We have to get rid of that negative 3. We're not just going to divide by 3. We need to divide by negative 3 because we don't want a negative x. We want just a positive x. So we include the negative with it. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. We get x and then 7 over negative 3 or negative 7 thirds. When you divide both sides by a negative, remember that inequality flips around, so it actually becomes x is greater than negative 7 thirds. So over here we have x is greater than negative 7 thirds. And we can leave it improper like that. We don't. You could make it a mixed number, you could make it a decimal, depending on what the decimal is, or you can just leave it as improper like that. Okay? All right, our next one, 4x minus 1 is less than 11. We want to get x by itself. We want to get rid of that negative 1 by adding 1. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. So 4x is less than 12. Divide by 4, divide by 4, x is less than 3. So x is less than 3. Good. All right. Uh, we do have one here with a number line. We should take a look at this one. All right, we need to get a by itself. We're going to do the opposite here. Get rid of the 18, which doesn't have the variable a. So we're going to subtract 18. What you do to one side, you do to the other side. So negative 27 and negative 18, they are like because they're both negative. So we're actually going to add those, which gives us 45, a negative 45. So 5a is less than negative 45. Then we're going to get rid of that 5 by doing the opposite dividing. 
What you do to one side, you do to the other side. And A is less than negative 9. Remember, if it's less than, that is an open circle. And then we want numbers that are smaller than negative 9. So we want numbers that are going to the left of negative 9. So open circle, numbers going to the left, which are smaller, would be that one right there. All right, that's all the examples. Good luck on your practice.